Welcome to Flourish. I'm Diane Planadan, and you're in the right place if you're ready to create an inspired life. And we do so by working on our own personal development. And so we can be super strong role models for those we love and mentor. Those who see us as a role model. Those who look to us for inspiration and what living an inspired life can truly mean. Today, we are on the fifth tip in Maslow's Becoming Yourself, Being self-actualizing because you deserve to be the best that you can be and live life to the fullest. So here we go. He says, fifth, we have talked so far of experiencing without self-awareness of making the growth choice rather than the fear choice of listening to the impulse voices and of being honest and taking responsibility. All these are steps towards self-actualization and all of them guarantee better life choices. A person who does each of these little things each time the choice point comes will find that they add up to better choices about what is constitutionally right for him or her. He becomes to know what his destiny is, who his wife or husband will be, what his mission in life will be. One cannot choose wisely for a life unless he dares to listen to himself, his own self, at each moment in life and to say calmly, no, I don't like such and such. The art world, in my opinion, he says, has been captured by a small group of opinion and tastemakers about whom I feel suspicious. That is an ad hominem judgment, but it seems fair enough for people who set themselves up as able to say, you like what I like, or else you are a fool. (laughs) We must teach people to listen to their own tastes. Most people don't do it. When standing in a gallery before a puzzling painting, one rarely hears, that is a puzzling painting. We had a dance program at the university not too long ago, he says, and a weird thing altogether with electronic music tapes and people doing surrealistic and data things. When the lights went up, everybody looked stunned. Nobody knew what to say. In that kind of situation, most people will make some smart chatter instead of saying, I would like to think about this. Making an honest statement involves daring to be different, unpopular, non-conformist. If clients young or old cannot be taught about being prepared to be unpopular, counselors might just as well give up right now. To be courageous rather than afraid is another version of the same thing. That reminds me of a little fable in the emperor's clothes. The emperor got new clothes. And he strode around town, showing off these new clothes. Look at me. Don't you love my new clothes? Can't you see how fabulous I look? Well, long story short, the emperor wasn't actually wearing clothes. But he was convinced by his tailor that he was wearing the clothes. And everybody should like what he likes because he was the emperor. So, and I think it took a child to finally point out to the emperor that he was wearing no clothes. (laughs) So as you continue your journey in becoming what you deserve to be in life, as you are transforming your life, as you are moving forward, as you're going through the process, sometimes you're going to have to not listen to what other people say especially if they're the popular kids in high school. They've already peaked, right? Forget about it. (laughs) They've peaked in high school. (laughs) That's not for everybody. I'm just saying it was my high school. Okay, there it is. I'm out there. I'm I'm being honest, right? That was was last week's chapter. (laughs) I love this. One cannot choose wisely for a life unless he dares to listen to himself, dares his own self, At each moment in life, each moment in life, dare to listen to yourself and you will live a more inspired life. 
If you like the show, share it with somebody you know. And hey, hit that subscribe button. Maybe do a comment. Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to connect.